Howdy folks, it's your old pal Magnus Booner. Today, we are making popcorn, Papa Booner corn, Booner corn, Papa corn. We're making Magnus Booner's popcorn. And we're gonna get started right now. Yeah, we're gonna make some popcorn! Woo! Gross. Gross. All right, this is a whirly pop popcorn popper. It's got this swirly little agitator in the bottom, and you heat it on your stove top. If you're using an electric stove top like I am, because I'm an unfortunate soul that does not have gas, I'm going to use on medium-high heat. If you've got a gas stove top, you're going to do medium heat. Now, the folks at Whirly Pop tell you not to put butter in this thing. That is because butter has a low smoke point. But I've got an old Magnus Booner hack for you. Hold on, drink break. The Whirly Pop folks want you to use oil with this. Oil's fine, peanut oil's great. I've got a hack. I use clarified butter. And. Normally I've got a big jug of this from Costco, but I'm low on it right now, so I've got this smaller container here. With popcorn, it's really hard to overdo butter, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use all that's in here. This is gonna be close to three tablespoons. We're just gonna put it all in there. So we've got about two to three tablespoons of clarified butter. Now we're going to use approximately a teaspoon of the Spice Islands brand ground chipotle pepper. I love this shit. I put it in everything, including popcorn. Now we're going to add some fresh ground black pepper. It's really hard to overdo black pepper in something like this, so I like to say grind it until you're bored. Okay, before we go any further, there's something really important I want to say. I just advised you to use clarified butter in this. Whirly Pop says only use oil. If you're so fucking stupid you burn down your kitchen, it's not on me and it's not on YouTube. That's on you because you're a dummy. Anyway, the smoke point of clarified butter is very high. This is Magnus Booner approved. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? Nuzdrivi! So to this we're going to add one teaspoon of Morton brand kosher salt. Typically I just eyeball this, but since I'm trying to teach you all how to do it, I took some time to pare everything down to fairly precise measurements. So popcorn comes in a few different varieties. If you're using that cheap, crappy popcorn, you use a third of a cup. I use this premium Irish County popcorn. Non-GMO, hippy-dippy approved. This stuff's a little smaller in size, so I use half a cup. You can buy this on Amazon. At least I hope you can, because there's going to be a link down there if I can find an Amazon link. If you ever click an Amazon link below a Magnus Booner video, it's going to give me a tiny kickback, and I might be able to buy beer with that money. Time for the magic. We're about to get hot in here. So I've got medium high heat on this, and I'm going to turn my crank. That butter's going to get all melty. It's going to coat those yummy little corn kernels. All that salt is going to get dissolved in the butter. That black pepper, that chipotle pepper, it's all going to get happy together. And before you know it, these little kernels are going to be popping. With the Whirly Pop popcorn popper, it's important to not preheat it. It's thin aluminum. You could melt it. If you need a Whirly Pop popcorn popper, I'll have a link down in the description. Be careful. If you're drinking beer while that's on the heat, you could scorch something. Hurry, hurry. Mm. Oh, crank it. Fucking crank it. Crank it for me, baby. Mmm. <coughs> I'd have this hood fan on so I'm not breathing that hot pepper infusion, but it's 
screw with my microphone, so I can't do that. Ooh. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, my God. There's some action happening in there. Oh. Oh, it's almost done. Don't want to screw it up. It's done. Dump that right in here immediately. Turn off the heat. There it is, just look at it. Look at that amazing Booner corn. This is my favorite part of the video. It's called the tasting part. I get a spicy note from that ground chipotle pepper, smoky note, salty note, buttery note, more earthy spice from that black pepper that plays kind of nice with that earthy spice from that chipotle pepper. My god, this is the most ingenious popcorn recipe you've ever heard of. I mean, it's really complicated and the guy that came up with this was must have had an IQ of like 300 or something. He's just a mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Salty, crunchy, smoky, buttery. I couldn't be happier right now. Got a lovely pills in a beer. I think we're done. Set that down. We're going to do the outro part of the video, we call this. If you like this video, smack that subscribe button. I know you've been watching my videos. You've been doing it for a bit. If you've watched two or three videos, it's time to subscribe. That's just how this works. Okay, it's time for me to finish this video. Because I'm out of beer! I need you to find me on social media. This is my Instagram handle. Here is my Twitter handle, and you can find me on Facebook. I am Magnus Booner, and I'm going to be bringing you another epic video real soon. Yeah.